Okay guys, nothing important here, and today I'm here to explain mathematics and whether or not they're out-reversal. Now, before we go and talk about whether or not mathematics are out-reversal, let me give you two definitions that I use for mathematics. The first definition for mathematics that I'd use is something called conventional mathematics. Conventional mathematics would be the mathematics that we would use to calculate, say, attack potency, speed, destructive capacity, and other factors that we're able to measure physically. These are the type of calculations that we'd see for someone like Godzilla or Ghidorah. Now, let me explain the other definition of mathematics. For the other definition of mathematics we'll use, we'll call them unconventional mathematics. Unconventional mathematics is essentially this form of out of mathematics. Now, a lot like platonic concepts, it'll depend on the series, but again, also like platonic concepts, if we have something that points toward it being out of we can use it being out of to show that we can use a mathematic that doesn't contradict what's out of Before I continue, allow me to give you a definition of out of that we'll be using for the sake of the video. The definition that we'll be using is that out of is beyond the concepts of space, time, dimensional nature, or any equivalent. Some people think mathematics can be scaled to out reversal, but there's a problem I have with this. First off, in fiction, we use mathematics to explain feats that happened before the math ever came out in the first place. We don't use math to give us the answer, we use math to help us find the specific answer. For example, Godzilla and Godzilla vs Kong blew a hole all the way to the center of the earth, and without that calc we would not realize that it's actually a multi-continental feat. Someone would probably say that's a continental feat, and everyone else would probably agree with it, even though they'd realize that it would take a lot more energy than that to blast all the way to the center of the Earth. So that'd be one example for why calculations are used to help explain feats. Now, the reason why there's two definitions for mathematics is because for outiversal mathematics, there's something that allows the mathematic to exist within the outiverse, so to speak. So, for example, say you have two outiversal characters fighting. Out of reversal A, out of reversal B. But the difference between them is what seems to be a two times difference. But because two times to the outiverse is a lot more than what two times is to conventional humans, it's a lot more than just simply two times. To, but to the characters who are out of reversal, they might look at that and only see it as the equivalent of two times. So, with unconventional mathematics, we can actually use feats that exist between out of reversal characters to directly measure the characters or directly measure parts of cosmologies. So that's the delta between conventional mathematics and unconventional mathematics and why I have a problem with why you cannot argue mathematics to be out of reversal because they either already are out of reversal or they're not out of reversal. There's no real middle ground we can approach here with it. And so that's the main problem I have with math being used to be scaled to be out of reversal. Now, let's answer the last question of the video before we wrap it up. So, that question you're probably going to ask is, well, what is out of reversal? What can go into it? I'll explain. So, to explain what out of reversal is, let me explain something else. In life, there's something called metaphysics. Metaphysics is the incorporation of religion, philosophy, and every other thing that's beyond the physical forms of perception that we have in the world. Within metaphysics, we use this in power scaling for four different forms. These four different forms or levels are the following. Concepts, principles, systems, and axioms. So in conclusion, conventional mathematics are not out of reversal. While unconventional mathematics are out of reversal, is because they work with something else that allowed them to be out of reversal without contradicting cosmology. The point is, if you have a mathematic and you're trying to apply it as a power skill, look at the context. If the context supports what you're trying to argue, use the argument for that particular context. If that argument does not work for the context you're trying to put it in, find another context that does work. Because the problem is at the end of the day, 
Power scaling is power scaling, and it's going to depend on the series, whether or not it's out of Ursal or not. So we could always debate on whether or not math is out of Ursal or not. I'm going to give you the same answer at the end of the day, every single time. It's going to depend on the series. Give me a series and we'll go over it. If you don't want to do that, don't waste my time. End of story. This is kind of a dumb debate. Anyway, my name is Nothing Important here. If y'all want me to give more takes like this, along with more how-tos, I'll go ahead and do that. Along with the fact that I'm going to have more stuff out in the future, as you guys probably know by this point. And yada yada. Anyway, have a good day and I'll see y'all later. Bye.